telescope also show an unusual sunward jet, contradicting what's normally expected from comet behavior. These findings are fueling a growing scientific debate about its origin and composition. In this video, we'll break down what was discovered, why it matters, and what the next observations could reveal. Let's get started. In July 2025, astronomers detected interstellar object 3I Atlas on a hyperbolic path through our solar system. It quickly stood out for its massive size, unusual chemical emissions, and distinctive activity. By August, observations from the WM Keck Observatory revealed something never before recorded in space. Atlas was emitting around 4 grams of nickel per second, but with no detectable iron. This is a serious departure from what's seen in other comets, where nickel and iron are always found together in similar amounts. Further analysis identified the compound as nickel tetracarbonyl, a refined substance known on Earth only from industrial processes such as aerospace, coatings, and specialized metallurgical manufacturing. Detecting this molecule around a natural object is unprecedented. At the same time, Atlas displayed another anomaly. It lacks a typical cometary tail. Instead, a jet of material points directly toward the sun. This isn't an optical illusion caused by perspective. Multiple instruments have confirmed its orientation. The jet consists mainly of carbon dioxide and water, with trace cyanide and nickel compounds but no iron, reinforcing the chemical oddity. Adding to the puzzle, Atlas has a CO2 to H2O ratio of about 8 to 1, which is among the highest observed for such objects. Polarization measurements also show extreme negative polarization, indicating that its dust grains and surface structure scatter light in a way unlike familiar comets. Images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-rise camera, taken during its early October flyby, are expected to shed more light on its structure and jet behavior. Their release has been delayed by the U.S. government shutdown, leaving the scientific community waiting for crucial data. Together, these chemical, optical, and physical anomalies make 3EI Atlas one of the most closely watched interstellar objects in recent history. The detection of nickel tetracarbonyl is at the heart of the debate surrounding 3I Atlas. This compound doesn't naturally form under conditions observed elsewhere in space. Its presence forces scientists to reconsider how interstellar bodies evolve chemically over long timescales. The prevailing interpretation is that Atlas is a natural object formed under exotic conditions. One hypothesis suggests that it originated near a CO2 ice line in its home system, where iron and nickel distributions may differ from those of our solar system. Over time, exposure to interstellar radiation could have selectively altered its composition, allowing nickel to outguess while iron remained bound in the nucleus. In this view, the compound may be produced through uncommon but natural chemical pathways triggered by solar heating. An alternative hypothesis proposed by Avi Loeb of Harvard University is more provocative. Loeb argues that the combination of a sunward jet, refined metal emissions, and precise trajectory characteristics is difficult to explain through natural processes alone. He raises the possibility that the alloy could be a techno signature, a clue pointing to non-natural origin. Most of the scientific community remains cautious. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and current data, while unusual, are not conclusive. Several teams are conducting lab experiments to determine whether natural reactions under interstellar and solar conditions could produce similar emissions. The sunward jet adds another layer of complexity. Typically, solar wind pushes gas and dust away from the sun, forming the familiar cometary tail. Atlas defies this by streaming material toward the sun. Since this isn't due to geometry, researchers are examining whether the composition or grain size of the ejected material could explain this reverse dynamic. Supporting this investigation, the polarimetric data point to fine grain, possibly compact surface dust, unlike that of familiar comets. That unusual structure might influence how the jet behaves and how sunlight interacts with the emitted material. Regardless of which explanation proves correct, Atlas has already expanded the boundaries of what scientists consider possible for interstellar objects. Whether it's an exotic, natural phenomenon or something less ordinary, it is forcing the development of new models to explain its behavior. The implications of these findings extend well beyond a single object. For planetary science, Atlas provides direct evidence of material from another star system that doesn't align neatly with known chemical models. Nickel without iron challenges assumptions about how metals are distributed during planetary formation. If verified, it may indicate environments with different temperature gradients or elemental separation processes than those that shaped our solar system. This fits into a larger pattern. Every interstellar visitor observed so far has behaved differently. One I Oumuamua showed non-gravitational acceleration without a visible tail. 
2i slash Borisov resembled a typical comet. Atlas is massive, chemically anomalous, and dynamically unconventional. This diversity suggests interstellar space isn't populated by one type of object, but by a broad spectrum of bodies, each carrying the chemical signature of its home system. For observation strategies, ATLAS underscores the value of rapid, multi-wavelength follow-up when interstellar objects are discovered. Spectroscopy, polarimetry, and high-resolution imaging were essential in identifying its unique behavior. Future surveys are expected to apply similar approaches much earlier in an object's trajectory. The technosignature discussion, while speculative, is also instructive. ATLAS demonstrates how natural phenomena can produce signals that appear engineered at first glance. This has practical implications for how future detections will be evaluated. Researchers must maintain rigorous standards without dismissing anomalies prematurely. Looking ahead, several milestones are expected. High rays. Imagery should provide insight into jet morphology and surface reflectivity, helping test competing theories. Continued observations from Keck, JWST, and other telescopes will refine measurements of nickel emissions and track how the jet evolves with solar distance. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory will soon increase the detection rate of interstellar visitors, offering a larger data set to compare against Atlas. If the nickel to iron anomaly holds up under peer review, it could reshape parts of astrochemistry and planetary formation theory. If explained by exotic but natural chemistry, it will still mark a major expansion of what we know is possible in interstellar objects. Either way, ATLAS has already secured its place as a scientific benchmark. The ATLAS object has defied expectations with its strange jet, metal emissions, and chemistry unlike any known comet. Whatever its origin, it's already reshaping how scientists study interstellar objects. The next observations may not just explain ATLAS, they could redefine what we think is possible in deep space.